Hi, welcome to this tarot love reading. My name's Sophia. Welcome to this community. So, with your person, I feel, um, I'll give an example. It's kind of like, I've said this before, but I'll give a kind of a different example on the same thing. It's like they get offered a really good job and um, they have other kind of cash in hand jobs. And this person says this is an opportunity of a lifetime or they know it's an opportunity of lifetime, something that they really wanted. But your person has been years with this cash in hand casual jobs. So during this process and what's happening now is that they, instead of leaving the cash in hands, they're like, well, I can have both, right? Uh, I can have the cash in hand plus this job and just work it and juggle it somehow because I don't want to lose the cash in hand in case this opportunity finds out who I really am or they haven't had an opportunity like this job um, before so they don't know how it's going to work out they have low self-worth because this is a better opportunity all sorts of example so they hold on to these casual jobs but then it's like the the main job finds out well, how can you put your all into this job opportunity if you've got all these other cash in hand casual options? And yes, this is, let's call a spade a spade. This is your person with other women or other men when you're the main opportunity. So what's happened at this divine timing is that now that main opportunity you have left, they're in the stage now because I'm getting heartbreak but not like heartbreak, you find out that they have another op uh, cash in hand, another side piece, another option. This is more like it's a heartbreaking situation. Your person didn't choose you and um, you know that they still won't let go of these options, other options. So... Other tarot readers, the people are saying, yeah, your person loves you, correct? Your person wants you back, yes, correct? And I feel they actually might be coming in with an um, an offer. Um, you may think they're emotionally unavailable, but it's like, I'm well, not really, they're emotionally unavailable. They just have other options. So it's awkward to say, I love you to one person when you know it's not true because you've got other options. So this is about, I don't care what other tarot readers say, they're saying the potential is energy, it's not the actuality. We are physical beings, right? Although it's a projection of the mind, we are actual physical being, and there needs to be some kind of physical action, hence wands are actions, twin flames are about action, and there is no physical action. They will come in and say their intentions, or maybe that they love you, they're going to express so it, it might presume that it's an emotionally unavailable person now expressing, for example, but they still will have those options, other people in the background. And it's interesting, I was talking to David, hi David, <laughs> this morning, about half an hour ago, about um, definition of relationship titles. And that's what uh, a lot of the divine masculines do what they have is options and in they don't i'll just say a spade is a spade they have women as shag pieces and they don't want to say it so instead what they do is which is a lie of omission i think is the word is not tell them which is then that woman presumes. Then they got loads of women hating on them. That's why women say that divine masculines are women haters. But um, you can't put, the divine masculine can't put you in a bracket, <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. And that's this time. You can't be defined as what you are with your person. So you have to see how it is 
and then move on to another option. I feel if I'm saying the contract, um, the divine masculines, divine feminines are, are separating. No, I don't feel that, but I feel there's a, a, a bigger purpose for you to actually leave, go on your way and find someone else. And um, I need to pull some more uh, cards and get some more clarity on this because I'm not sure where this is leading at this divine time. I'll be honest with you. But at the same time, I can tell you that your divine masculine is not coming back and leaving those options. So he or she can come in and say, I want to get married to you. I do love you. I only want to date you. Do you hear that? I only want to date you. But they will still have friends, which are not friends, because friends know about each other. You don't know who their friends is. That woman friend they're seeing don't know about you. That's not friends. Like I said, there's no category. And this is what this is about. So it's like they will still have those options. And you don't want that, right? Hence, so you'll be, thank you very much, but see ya and get someone else. I, I Like I said, I can't, I'll be honest, I don't know what this is at the moment, why the divine, divine plan might come out in the cards. Let's see. But that's what's going on at this moment. I feel, as I said, divine, mas divine feminine is still not getting back with the divine masculines. I don't care what other people are saying. <laughs> They're not. Because nothing's changed. It's like you know it's just words now. The divine feminine knows what they're going to come up and say in these just words. I'll ask if it will change, what's happening, all that kind of stuff. What's this about? Let's see what the cards say. All right, let's jump in. Let's see what's going on. Four of Swords. Ah, Twin Flame card. I was feeling this as well. I forgot to say it. So thank you for reminding me, you guys. Well, not you guys. Not really guys. All right. Four Swords is another version of a Twin Flame card. Why? And as I was saying at the beginning about Three of Swords, but it's not exactly Three of Swords as you're finding out about another a baby mum, baby dad, they're cheating on you with someone else. I feel that this is a heartbreaking situation. That's four of swords. After the three of swords, twin flames, how many times do you get heartbroken? Divine feminines, and then you get you're supposed to heal. Because four of swords is um a twin flame card to me. Four, which is about you know stability. And ah, oh, okay, so this is about finding a way around that works because we're not about tradition with the four swords is what i'm getting straight away but i need to go into that more tower again oh okay four swords queen of cups and the tower So the Four of Swords is, um, it's kind of, you're at that stage where it's heartbreaking because you love your person, they love you, but you can't move forward. That's heartbreaking, right? <laughs> it's a ridiculous heartbreak, but they just won't drop those options. So you can't date with those options. Like I said, you're not a friend because friends know about each other. All these women, all these men they're dating don't know about each other. They keep everyone separate. So you're not a friend. So you'll be a fuck buddy or you don't want to be casual or you're just meeting up. And like I said, there's no title. I was telling David, there's no title of that, what I'm explaining now. There isn't, right? There is a definition of relationship because of this, um, this Conundrum? I can't say that fucking word. 
Queen of Cups next to the Four of Swords. Yeah, you're holding back from your person. You're not going to go there unless they define what is. What, what, okay, you're, it's Queen of Cups, so you're open to it, but you're not, like, my Queen of Cups card, she's got her hand over the, the glass. So it's like you're holding back, you're holding back your emotions, but you're facing the force of swords like I'm facing this situation for what it is. I still love my person, Queen of Cups, but I'm not, you're holding back. You've got your hand, so you're holding back on emotionally getting involved in it, which is a, it's kind of putting you back, as they say, taking your power back because I'll just call a spade a spade. Your person makes up these relationship rules that are not on this planet, right, to get away with doing what they want, just shagging someone and then shagging someone else and shagging someone else and literally not defining what it is so that person presumes that is a relationship, right? Because I was discussing with David and I was like, he said, oh, how come the divine feminine <laughs> gets another twin flame? Can't I get another twin flame? He's always joking about it. It's not a serious thing. And I said, no, because the divine masculine has choices. And he's like, we don't have choices. I said, yes, you do have choices in love. I said, although that's not the point of this contract, this contract is about self-love, so you don't care about choices or even your divine masculine or your divine feminine, that is the purpose. But this is how it goes. You, um, The divine masculine has choices of women or men. It depends, you know, what your person is. And then, but the thing is, they, that woman, they can't then go, listen, I want a relationship with you and then turn it into love because they don't see that person as love in the first place. So that's why the divine masculine is like, why and I got this loving person of choices? Um, that's why David could say it to me because these other women, he don't see as love choices. But those women see them as love choices because they're not just saying to them, oh, well, you're casual to me. You're, you're just casual to me. And if they did say that to them, then they wouldn't have these choices in the first place. Whereas the divine feminine doesn't do that. So because the divine masculine has these choices, regardless if they're love choices, they are choices. So that's why you're pulling in another choice. But you're facing the, it's like you're facing what is with the Queen of Cups facing the Four of Swords. That's what I feel here. The Tower is, a, it's like you're, by doing it this way, you're kind of like, I know what this situation is now. I know regardless if they tell me or not, because the Tower is behind you, the Divine Feminine. Uh, does that show right in the, yeah behind her right so it's like i know what this situation is i'm going to call a spade a spade so uh if um <clears throat> leveling it out anyway so if um i'm not getting with my person because of it's not healed right? I'm not saying they need to be healed. They need to be healed. I don't like to say it because um, David actually said that yesterday. Um, when the divine feminines, is that why the divine feminine get choices? Because they heal. And I'm like, well, not really. That's why most twin flames are separated. Because obviously they ain't healed then, are they? So it's not about them. You're facing your person. When this situation is healed, um, uh, and I know what it is. I'm facing what it is with the with you, the Divine Feminine facing the Four Swords with the Tower behind you. It's like I'm facing what is, but at the same time, because I know what is, when my person comes towards me, they they go off. I'm not on their social media. That means I'm hidden. That means I'm not in a relationship. I'm not a friend. That means I don't know what I am. So I'm open to meeting someone else. Queen of Cups is emotionally open, loving to meet someone else, and it's not your person because you're in four swords from your person, and the four swords looks dead, right? It's like this is still, this ain't moving forward. This is dead and buried and done. Okay, 
So um, until that moves forward in a good direction. So I feel you're quite balanced. Like I said at the beginning, I'm just not sure why this is happening. But when there's situations like this happen, I leave it up to the divine. I'm like, well, it must be some bigger plan here, right? I'm not sure of it yet. The tower behind you is like, I'm not jumping into a relationship with my person. Like before, I'm putting the tower moment of what happened when I done that in, uh, in the past behind me. And how I do that is how I am now. Unless my person changes, like I said, um, I'll see it how it is that I don't want to be the side piece or whatever it is, won't cause a tower if I go and shag them and meet up with them. And if I meet someone else or they meet someone else, it's kind of like that. It's kind of I'm avoiding the tower. And that's what this is. But the tower is in the reading. So I need to find out about that. It's like you're... I don't know how to say it, but you're at a good place of not caring at the same time, Divine Feminine. It's like they can argue with you. I don't care. Unless we're in a proper relation, I don't care. It's kind of like that. It's like whatever they say to make you have this tower, because of before you cared so much that it would affect you as a tower. The Queen of Cups is a nice place to be in this reading you're in a nice emotional because it's caps place where it's not affecting you anymore if anything it's now making them feel how you felt when they had their choices because they can't grab you and as i was saying now they're back to they didn't like when they was before with all these choices back to that job scenario they don't like the cash in hand uh, casual situations they don't like it they wanted an opportunity or something stable and committed but i get it they didn't it's not about greed as such it's more about as someone would say i would love to date brad pitt right people would say that right i know it's old school. anyway right but in reality would you really if Brad Pitt, and I'm not saying you're better than your person, I've just got to make this clear. I'm just giving an example. So say Brad Pitt asked you out uh, <clears throat> and you would say, um, yeah, I'd love to date Brad Pitt. But then he's famous, he's a superstar, he's rich, he's around all these sexy actresses who are successful, um, models, people throwing themselves at him. That's that kind of situation there. So you're like really in the bigger scheme you hold back and you think, I'll keep, I'll keep uh, Jim Bob, right, actually, because Brad Pitt has got all these other bigger options. And that's what this is. Well, I'm not saying that your person sees you like that because out of Brad Pitt or David, I don't see them as any different to me. It's about who you love, right? Brad Pitt don't um, come close to David, in my opinion. Do you see what I mean? And that's where you should get it to because that's, true love, and then you stay with that person forever, but you have to get your person to feel like that, right? That's the thing here. So with this situation, it's like your person didn't learn to invest into, listen, Brad Pitt does love you. Just stay with Brad Pitt and get rid of those casual options because you might lose Brad Pitt. That's what this is, right? And so they left. Um, so you've left. So the tower is here because the tower has come down, but I feel it's on your person's side. I feel that the tower also is that they are trying to keep you because having Brad Pitt and having these other uh, options, having you and having these other options, you feel in your power. And this isn't an arrogance, although it is at the same time. Because if you have your person and you've got a couple of side dishes, right, you might say, oh, these side dishes are only because this person is amazing. Now, don't fucking kid yourself. You feel fabulous because you've got side dishes plus an amazing person. So this ego came in as well. But they, this ego got built because before all these options were crap options. So it doesn't matter. Can you imagine if you have loads of jobs, you, you, for example, I, you do, you work in a shoe shop, 
you work in a cheap chip shop all cash in hand you work there's a newspaper round person you work uh, uh, selling lollipops all of the, you, you might think yeah that's great i'm getting all i got all these jobs cash in hand but they're crap it's not really jobs right they're 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 um they're climbing jobs let's just say or something like that i'm not not dissing those jobs okay i'm giving an example right so it's like then you meet this dream job right it's like um so you keep them both but if you but that dream job makes you interested and more boosted in life so you are enjoying more the other options i hope this makes sense before you was just dabbling with the your person just dabbling with the options but because they've met the dream job they took the real job they're like oh wow i am i am deserving so i'll keep these other options as well so ego did come into it now you they've lost you they've lost so they're back with these other options you they're coming back to you because these other options are not um making them feel good <laughs> because you was the one that made these options feel better but like i said i don't know why but with the tower it's um it's like for them to see now you have to get rid of the options you need to, to that's why the um the fool's journey the fool's card is taking the leap of faith and jumping into the unknown which may seem risky but that is the journey of your life because tarot is the journey of your life which is the fool's card which none of you do oh i help people in uh, i'm a nurse and I do Reiki, and I do acupuncture, and I help homeless people, I'm like, which is that, it's unknown, <laughs> right, T-neck, this community, we're changing it as an organization, with us all collaborating together, that's unknown, right, and that's why you're different, and that's what they're realizing, this opportunity is different, I need to hold on to it, but and, until this foundation crumbles of how they see it, they're, like I said, they're trying to make it out. They're trying to get you back, even a bit of your energy to sustain the other options because now the other options are shit because you're not in it. The universe is trying to say, no, get rid of the options. You've got the main main one up in here. So, uh, yeah, being two-faced. The two phases of this situation, I'll come into that. Temperance, which is about patience. I said, I don't know what's happening, so there's more patience needed. Temperance, chariot, four swords. Five of swords, sorry. Four swords, five of swords. So underneath the four of swords is temperance. So temperance is about, um, yeah, balancing out this two-phase situation. Because um like i say your person will say well you're friends and it's like well no we're not really friends are we because i don't know any of your other friends your women friends well fuck buddies no 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 i see you more than that i don't just come around and fuck you well i'm a whore then right that's a whore you're defining fuck buddies is you come around and you kind of chat right they're trying to it's two-faced define it right it's two-faced it's making you angry right temper and that's what you're learning to deal with okay it is what it is and that's why the towers on your person's side with the five of swords underneath the tower is like it's selfish you just need to deal with what you're doing is selfish but they're getting so much karma from it because they're not defining it and they're thinking well because they're not saying something it's okay that's like going for a job for a manager right the, the interview doesn't have to say, have you been doing management before? Are you qualified or something like that? And that's like you shutting your mouth and then giving you the job, but you know it's a management job. That's this with the temperance. It's about being vulnerable and being open to what is. Now, this isn't about you cussing off your person, your person cussing off blah, blah, blah. This is about the start of something with temperance. The start of recognizing of, because I got that the old contract has ended. This is the new start of the new way of waking up your person to what you're doing relationship-wise 
There is no such fucking thing. There isn't, right? And for the divine feminine to wake up to you, that there is no such thing, what you are with this person. So be open to knowing that and then dating other people if you want to or meeting other people. Be open to meeting someone else until this person changes, if they change at all. The chariot, yeah, you're moving on. <laughs> I keep saying, I don't know where they're getting all these titles of they're coming back uh, and stuff like that. And the readings are they're coming back. Because to me, it's like, this is about, you can take your person back, but the situation remains. Like I said, they can come to you and say, listen, I want to be exclusive to you and date you only. You think this reading is about definition. You think two-faced, right? Oh, okay, that's wicked. But then they're over there sending their dick to another woman. But you're like, hold on, you're being two-faced. This You said we're dating exclusive. But because he or she's not defining it, it's two-faced, right? And that's what this is. They think it's okay not to define things, but it's it, it's um, it's incorrect. And that's what you've got to show people, show your person. But I must repeat, right? Because I don't want to trigger David. This is not about you or or any divine masculine that they don't watch anyway. This is your person trying to hold on to. A situation that they're used to because they're not used to uh they're not quite ready yet to have a relationship fully because of what happened to them as a child so they're trying to as soon as they've had a relationship it blew up because of their childhood past and their all that kind of stuff so they try to define it here as i don't want casual I want you there, but I can't commit to you fully, right? And if you trigger me, I'm going to go to someone else. There ain't such a fucking thing, right? But that's what this is. So it's like, no, you can't do that. That's what this is. The universe is saying you can't do that. That that you got to bury that idea, right? That needs to die or stay fucking single, right? But because they're not like that to be single, king of wands, twin flame ace of wands they're not like that they're passionate they desire they're they're attractive so they're going out there they're doing it wrong it's kind of breaking down them to see what a relationship is for them to define what it is and then they're like okay i can't ensure i can't do this anymore right because it's going to be even shit now that i've had this opportunity with you and now I'm going back to how it was before. It's not going to be great. Have you ever dated someone? You separated, you met them back up, and six months later, it's like not the same. That's this with their choices. Even if they've been always seeing these choices, when you're out the picture, those choices seem shit. They're not interested in the choices. So this is so they're trying to get you back to have it like before, even if it's different. Even if you're not seeing them all the time, even if you're not texting them all the time, they just want your kind of energy there so that the tower doesn't crumble for them and their other choices. So when they're coming back in with this offer, with stepping up their emotions and saying what it is, I'm not saying that's not wrong. They are telling you what it is, but this is about the practicality of it, right? And that's what this is doing with the universe. It's like, for you to say no and knowing that they're going to have a tower in the background but that's them because it's behind you you don't care what happens with them this is about as i said to david yesterday this is about no not that we really discussed the twin flame contract it was a flippant quote what you just asked me this is about you focusing on self it's like okay my person in short my person isn't really picking me and defining me in a relationship way. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I enjoy my company with uh, my person, right? I'm not going to sleep with him or her because, you know, they're sleeping with other people, particularly they're sleeping unprotected. I don't know what that's about with a twin flame. 
I don't know, right? So they're having loads of kids and all this kind of thing. So I'm not going to sleep with them. Maybe I'll go cinema and stuff like that. But if I meet someone else, then I'm dropping his ass or her ass. This is about you now taking your power back, seeing it clearly. Your person can't say fuck all to you, hence the towers behind you, because that is what the situation is. The temperance, right? It's balanced now, right? But you need to, with the four swords, heal this to, to match what the situation is. By you doing that, this is you then, right, healing the situation. And now it's on an even kill. So then your person has to decide then, because what you give them, say, for example, you meet them every, you meet them uh, for a week and then you meet them every other week or something like that. That won't be enough for your person to be happy with their choices. And by you meeting them every other week, you will see what's the purpose of this now, right? Because you're getting to used to being by yourself. This two-faced in one body will merge into one self, right? You will heal and start merging into one self and becoming more balanced over time. Patience, right? Temperance, Knight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So slowly you'll start merging into one. You'll be like, I'm not with my person. It's like... It's working in your favor because just to cut off your person, your twin flame, it's really hard. You want to go towards them, right? That push and pull. But this is making it balanced for you as well. This is taking it back into your favor so that when you connect with them or talk to them and just meet them for a cup of coffee or whatever, it's giving you time to get over them, really. And then eventually over time, you'll be like, I don't need to meet you for coffee right but when they meet you for coffee they'd be like yeah i'll meet you for coffee i don't care we don't need to sleep together because you're sustaining their third party but you're not because when they come and meet you they want it as before this this short because you're different you've changed here so there be this wake up to call to them to say okay i need to get rid of the other options then right five of swords last card here Chariot, you want me to go more into this chariot? Yeah, it's a reflection of how you feel on the inside to as without. That's what you have to do. You're feeling balanced at the moment, so you have to reflect it. And what I've talked about with the chariot is how you reflect it to your person on the outside, right? Hence why they have all the drama and all that. You don't even have to say that. It's like when you meet them, there's not about, listen, you doing this to baby's mum isn't right. You need to tell them to find the relationship. This is like, what do I want? At this moment, I'm not quite over my twin flame, but he has options. She has options. I don't want to be that options. Don't want to sleep with them. So let's just meet for coffees. That's what I want. That's it. This planet is about what you want to experience. I would prefer to have an exclusive relationship. It's their free will, their prerogative. They don't want to have that. I'm happy meeting for coffees. That's what this is here. That then moves things forward, right? And that's self-loving for you at this moment with the four swords, how to heal it. And that's what the twin flame does. You match their energy, right? And you keep healing it. The five of swords is about like you selfishly then work doing what you want. So, for example, baby's mum come up to you. You know he's cheating. How could you talk to him? How can you be a friend? Or you know about all these kids. You're just like, I don't care about that. That's his problem. I'm just meeting for coffee. I'm just doing what I want. I'm not sleeping with him. I'm not having kids with him. I'm not doing this with him. I'm just meeting for coffee and I'm okay. There's no harm there. I know exactly what this is. That's what this re reading is. You take the power back. You know exactly what it is. If he is, so it's kind of you have a knowing here. They're sleeping with other people, not telling people about you. Do It's like if you just meet for coffees and they're having a nice time, whatever, then you don't care about that. Can you imagine if you meet someone, they say meet up for coffees. You don't care who they're really dating. You might ask, right, for um casual chit chat but you don't really care this is about this and it sounds horrible but it's kind of bringing you back to the full purpose of the queen of cups in this reading of you being loving not to the sense of over emotionally pulling everything out hence half the cup you half invest right you understand why they do it 
but you don't then get pulled into the drama, hence the towers behind you. And that's self-loving to you. It's about pulling back and being on yourself. Then you don't really care about it. The five of swords is then the tower will come down because it's underneath your person with the tower of how this is selfish to them, how they are just having children because they're not defining. A lie is a lie. If you're not telling someone something, doesn't mean you're not lying, right? And that's what they know. They do know that. They play dumb. And that's the thing. They're playing dumb. Well, I didn't say that I was dating you or I wasn't doing <laughs> I didn't say I was dating you. I didn't say that we, uh, I wanted a child. I didn't say this and that. But you're not silly. If you go around someone's house and you're not just going in there shagging them and going out the door, on this planet, it's defined, right, unless you're in some kind of religious culture, like Muslim or whatever, the ones that you can have several wives and several relationships, right? In this culture, you're now, in, in, in this twin flame culture, let's say, you're known as in to be in a relationship. And that guy or woman knows that, right? Absolutely knows that. So they're like, oh, well, I'm only on OnlyFans. Right. It's known as a porn site. So if you're on the porn site and that's the thing as well with this, it's like if you can't just get a straight answer from them, then it's shady. That's all you got to know. When you go and ask someone else out and it's like, can we meet up? Yeah, can we meet here? Can we meet there? Whatever. And it's just like, yeah, I'll meet you Thursday. I might be at work on the Tuesday, but I can meet you Thursday. And it goes like how you presume a relationship to be. This is always, but you can't do that, and you can't go on that social media, and this baby's mum, and I might be working, and I'm waiting for this, and, I, and it's like drama. You put the drama behind you, the towers behind you. No, <laughs> that's what this is, right? To get it to be some kind of, because what they've done, like I said, because they didn't pick, and they're always bunny hopping to other choices. It doesn't mean they have a million choices, but they got two or three choices, right? is just coming to a shit storm. So the more the shit storm, the more they've got to keep everyone separate, it's just getting into a fucking nightmare, right? So I don't want to know, Divine Feminine. You don't really, and that's what I'm saying, this is like Queen of Cups, not giving a fuck, but being loving at the same time. I don't know how to say it. So I don't care. I don't want to know. Oh, you got another eight kids. I don't really want to know. Right, you just don't care. Look, let's just meet for coffees. Keep me out of it. That's your mess. You go sort it out. That's what this is. It's like, oh, you, they can't say you don't give a fuck. You say, well, I'm meeting you for coffees, aren't I? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? If I didn't give a fuck, we wouldn't be meeting. It's kind of like this. Yeah. Okay, why is this one here? <laughs> this comes out the most. Oh, okay. Twin flames, superstars, alien like beings are where we have lack mentality. This is defining. Yeah, this is from lack mentality. Your person, how their skewed perception of relationships from them being traumatically abused or something because a child such as you, this is they've created messed up definitions of relationships from lack mentality as a child and it doesn't matter if they're quite successful in one element of their life like work this is relationships because you might say they love their children they might talk about they love their children but they're having loads of children that's this this is understanding you don't need to understand them you just need to understand it is this this reading is about getting some kind of balance to move forward on the twin flame connection which is doing it differently so there needs to be a compromise and this is about this divine time finding that compromise and if you're not talking or open to meeting your person for let's just say coffees if you're in that communication stage or understanding why they do that from the abuse and abandonment from a child 
then you're not moving forward and this is not healing. So yes, you need to heal that first for then them to understand why you're here. That's what this is. Then it will move forward with the chariot. I feel they will still come in and up their offer from before what they gave you from before. They they will come in and they will be, you know, up in their offer. Like I said, you might be like bamboozled with their, oh, they're not so emotionally unavailable now, right? But it's not really that. Hmm. Five of Swords, you might see it as a form of manipulation. But you have to understand it. It's like a child nicking from a sweet shop, but they're hungry. They're not getting fed at, at home. It's not right. They're stealing, but there's a purpose behind it. That's this reading. So if your person comes in and ups their offer, okay, I want to date you and do it, but you're like, but you still got your other, your other bitches. You're still fucking or, or, um boring or see me as a side bitch and whatever it's like so you're lying you're just being extra nice to me to keep me to keep me on the side like i said this is with the with this card is about understanding why they do it from the lack mentality like i said a starving child might nick from a shop but they're starving that's what this is understanding why they're doing that I feel this huge pull to you and it scares me. Like I said, they're trying to keep you with this offer that's coming in because now they've had the big offer, which is you. They didn't always see you as that. They knew you were different, but they still tried to uh, put you in the bracket of the other options when they knew you was different. But now they're waking up to, they've woken up to you're different, right? You're different. So this, they're feeling the pull. They're, if anything, they're obsessing on you. This is the negative connotation of the Twin Flames, which is a devil card. So they're obsessing on you. They want to be with you. They're thinking about you all the time, which is making them recognize the other options they're with. Don't cut it. They don't touch the sides to you. So why are they doing it? So this is like smoking. When I used to smoke, yes, I did used to smoke. And because um, everyone's like, well, you used to smoke. Yes, I did. Right. It's like um, <clears throat> I, 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 I quit. Well, a couple of reasons. But one of the main reasons was I was what, what was I doing it for. <laughs> right. And to get up and I'll, like, I'll make a cup of tea and I'm like a, a cup of tea and a fag. I'm like and then oh, after lunch, a, a fag. It wasn't a f fulfilling a need. It wasn't doing anything. Do you see what I mean? And that's it. It's just like, why are they doing it? They, they need to cut it out. It's an addictive pattern. I, yeah, the full, feel the few. The, and why they're, this is sexually attracted to you, perving on you, wanking over you, all that kind of stuff as well. This is also daydreams, uh, uh, waking up thinking about you, going to sleep, sleep thinking about you and, you know, doing sexy stuff on themselves, wanking themselves and all this kind of thing. And because this is making them realize my desire is you. I don't need to go and shag Billy Bob or Sarah Louise. My heightened sexual desire is you. And I've lost the main sexual desire and fulfilling myself with these other options when they're going to these other options because you're not getting, when you have that argument of them to commit or tell them, look, come and settle down to commit they go to the other options which are newer options so are not threatening them to commit but this massive pull this devil this obsession the of you now that's turned from the lovers to obsession with the devil card which anyway is then making them feel that that obsession that sexual desire because twin flames the sex gets the passion the desire and the sex grows i love that I love that, right? It grows the longer you're with the connection. And it's like, so I don't need that. I don't need the other people I'm going with because this person will fulfill which they think and you think is a sex addiction. But it's like, no, they're more like a twin flame, right? Which is the flame, that passion, that desire. Uh, I focus on money as I have nothing to offer you. Okay, I need to go into this one. What is that about? 
This could be, I don't feel great about this. So this is um, like a lot of their money is going into, it could be a, a few things I'm getting here. This could be them buying things to kind of fulfill not being with you. You know, spending money on crap because they're not happy with the situation now because you're not talking to them, you're not connected with them. You're not like before. This could be also going money goes on a lot of the other options, hence the babies, mums, the kids, the divorce and all this other stuff. With the third party, a lot of money is going over on third party, which they get pissed off about paying the third party because they're not closing out this pattern. So they keep dabbing on people, not defining the title. So the women are having the kids thinking that, oh, well, this person loves me because they're not saying we're casual but they're not defining it so that money goes on them. They get pissed off. So they're spending even more money on themselves. This, I didn't feel positive about it, but why do you need to know that? They might be saying they're skint <laughs> at this moment. I don't know. Or you might know that money's a factor. I hate how long it's been since I've seen you. This one is um, literally, you could be seeing them all the time or not at all. They're watching you. Like I said, watching eyeballs isn't good enough. Seeing you really, this is like, you know, um, Starseed Lightworkers, Twin Flames, uh, the, the, I don't want to call it divine because everything on this, everything is divine, right? Um, even uh, dark demons are div divine, you know, the, you know, the devil is an angel, right? It's like spiritual beings. I don't know what to call it, right? Define it. But this is about, we see real people. This reading is like, this reading isn't like, your person's coming back with an offer to manipulate you, to keep you and keep the other options. You could kind of break it down like that. But this is like, no, you see the real them. Their lack mentality. They come across like a superstar. They get, they get fed by all this attention, by you, by these other options like, and they feel like powerful like a superstar, but you see the real them. But because they're not changing at this moment, they're not seeing you. So you're not giving them what you was given before, regardless if you're seeing them every day. They're watching you every day. They're not seeing you. And that's what's happening at this divine time. Because then if you can't get to the place that you see and you understand why they do this, which most of my previous readings is about abuse, sexual abuse with the divine masculine men of why they react in a certain way. Come on, fucks you up. It fucks you up. Someone was asking me about this, saying their person um, started off very angry, found out that they were on OnlyFans and, and, and cheating on them. I, I had someone up, uh, talk to me about it, not mission people, just want to make that clear. And they was like, and I had to go through and say, listen, would you, and I'll ask you this question if you're struggling with this situation. I said, would you like to be in their shoes, raped, sexually abused at a very young age, for, between five to seven, de generally divine masculine, your person that's watching, man or woman, raped or sexual abuse, sometimes it's a couple of times from a very young age right, didn't tell fucking no one, and complete, completely distort, uh, distorted their version of reality of what love is, hence why their relationships are like this, this is why they want love, but they can't sustain love, so they tried a version of casual, which isn't correct, because they quite like the partners, but they don't want to settle with the partners. Casual is just going in, you both arrange to sleep together and go off until you meet someone else. This is like, I want to just come with you, but then go with someone else. I'm going to let you fucks up your version of what love is. And then, because you can't tell the person, look, I've got to define a relationship which no one knows about. So... You shut your fucking mouth, knowing it's wrong. So then another kid comes. You can't say, don't want the kid, we're only casual. So you have a kid, you have a kid, you have a kid, you have a kid. But then you, you all this 
from the sexual abuse when you was five to seven years old. I'll take the cheating, thank you very much. <laughs> right? Plus their family see them as fucked up and weird and why you keep having all these kids and they're lying to the family, to the friends, this whole charade, like I said, money is an issue here because they're having all these children and, all, and, and, and taking out all these people. Do you know what I mean? These people are like, well, you know, I want to go out now. And, 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 you know, that's what I said to this person. But what do you prefer, right? Or do you prefer to be a light worker learning how to transmute that? Um, you heal, then they heal. You heal others, right? Trying to, that's what this is, right? Anyway, so I'll leave that there. You need help with this situation. Book us for counselling. Go to the website. Speak to you later.